So a player who's really interesting that we've been uh, spending some time today talking about is Devontae Smith, a wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. Right now, his ADP is at wide receiver 37, at least according to Sleeper. Uh, check out Sleeper if you don't have it. But that's going to be right outside of that wide receiver 3 range if you were to play in a 12 team, right? So he's essentially being drafted as a high-end wide receiver 4. I personally think that's closer to his floor than his ceiling. Uh, Dugo, I guess, kind of tell me how you feel about Devontae Smith. Yeah, no doubt, dude. So I did a mock uh, kind of just like right before this. And uh, I ended up actually drafting Devontae Smith. Mm-hmm. Uh, took him kind of a little early, but I wanted to make sure that I got him just because I value this guy, I think, a lot higher than a lot of other people. What round did you get him in? So I got him at the 6-7 in a 14-team uh, draft. Wow, okay. So, like I said, I took him a little early. Like, I probably, he probably could have went a little later in the 6th if not squeezed into that early 7th. Yeah. But I think, like, if you're getting him at that value... I mean, like Jahaya alluded to earlier, this guy was wide receiver 29 on a team that really didn't have much of a wide receiver two on that team. So he was always getting keyed. People were always just locking him down. Otherwise, obviously, this guy won a Heisman, so he was able to you know, utilize his special abilities and do what he could. But I think now that he has A.J. Brown... I think the ability to shift the defense over like that and just have him almost playing one-on-one with someone, I think it's going to get scary for some defenses because Devontae Smith in you know, open spaces, that's probably one of the scariest people in the NFL right now, if I'm going to be honest. You know, I, so he's going right now on the board as the 87th best player in fantasy. Mm-hmm. For him to be a wide receiver too, that means that he would outperform his current ADP by about, I don't know, at least two rounds. At least. I think he's a safe bet right now where he's going for his ADP. I do expect it to shift before the season starts. Yep. But I do think that this offense is going to shift towards passing the ball a little bit more. They just made a $100 million investment in that pass game. Right. I think Devontae Smith is an excellent receiver. He's a first-round talent, Heisman winner. Right. He has more than enough ability to go out and do his thing at the two. For sure. And so. just to give a little bit of background. So, last year in PPR, he ended out as the number 81 overall. So, when you're thinking about drafting him at 87, I think not only is I think he going to be just overall better, but I think that his positioning, everything like that, especially with A.J. Brown shifting that defense over, is going to make his life a lot easier as... Probably the two on that team, but nonetheless, yeah. he's going to be getting targets like none other, I believe. He'll have more opportunities for explosive plays. Absolutely. And so at the end of the day, I think he's going to be around that wide receiver 25 mark by the end of the season. Mm-hmm. Locking him in as, let's call it, a wide receiver two, wide receiver three. You know, I think he has that ability. Ja, you got any last words on him? Let us know what you guys think below. I like Devontae Smith at his current value. I think he's a low-end wide receiver two, high-end wide receiver three. Uh, Where do you guys have him? Let us know down below in the comments.